Charlie 750, New Berlin, Canada, Mobile, standing by. Location is the key, you know, no matter what amount of power you're running, location is the key, Roger. Echo Charlie 750, go to 535, QSY 535. We're going on. Echo Charlie 750. Roger, Echo Charlie 750, operator 10, Kilo. Roger, Roger. Well, you're making a good trip to the Carolinas, my friend. You came right on in there. I got you five and eight, five and eight. Beautiful audio. Well, I appreciate the flowers, my friend. We're working a Stringer 955 with a stock microphone and a Wilson 1000 magnum out on the roof. Well, it's doing a job for sure. It really is. Yeah, well, we took the time to ground all the panels, so we uh, we definitely increased the ground plane, which means we increased the signal there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I'm uh I'm on a AnyTone Quad 5 Plus, a uh, little Texas Star MC250 old antique two pill. Getting about 180 average out of it. Uh, Delta M2 microphone and a Mako V58 sitting at about seven meters there. QSL. Well, it's definitely doing the trick for you, man. Five by five, five by nine. So you're two five audio two man. You're definitely uh, making a good trip into New Brunswick. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, and that's Echo Charlie 750, correct? That is a Roger, yeah. Is the Echo a little bit too heavy there for the side band, or are you good with it? No, it sounds fine. Sounds fine. Okay, Roger. Yeah, no, we, we are, I guess we're peaking right around 40 whiskeys there. Uh, I've also got an any tone. I got a quad six. I really like that little mobile. It's just too bad it didn't have a little more power. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I uh, I got this one because I I had heard a few, um, and this this is the old blackface one. Looks like the uh, CRT 6900s out of Europe. Um, I had I had heard a few of them. And I read all the reviews and everything I saw said good audio and that's what I was looking for. And um, I was on a budget and this one fit fit the bill, $246 to the door. So yeah, I, I've been really happy with it. The only thing I don't like about it is of course it's got the, uh, the uh, digital clarifier. So, you know, it's just like the Rangers and all that, you know. Um, the Rangers, they like to skip frequency every now and then when, you, when you're when you tuning it, and it does the same thing on Clarifier, and it just irritates the crap out of me. <laughs> you know, it, it is a minor issue, but, uh, you know, I like to, when my Clarifier is straight up, I like it to be straight up, so I have to get it back on the 5 or on the 0 or whatever, and turn it off, turn it back on, and then it, it centers again. It, that's that's the only thing I don't like about it. Yeah, well, the Anytoken Quad 6 had kind of a little quirk like that, too. The voltage dropped down a little bit too low. It would start to do these lockup functions where I couldn't do nothing with it. I'd have to factory reset it. And then it was good. As long as I had enough voltage, as soon as the voltage dropped down, down below a set point, that was it. I was experiencing a lot of issues with it. And at first, I had it just wired to a cigarette lighter plug, and that was the issue. I just wasn't getting the voltage. on that, Roger on that. Well, I'm on power supply, so I, I don't have to worry about that, thank goodness. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that's that's my only issue. But then again, you know, I haven't made any other modifications other than uh, the the massive uh, pain in the butt to change it to 11 meters. You know, I had to hold two buttons and power it on and, and, uh, and then turn the channel selector to one notch over and uh, converted it to 11 meters. Man, that, I tell you, that was terrible. Yeah, I, I agree. It was a little easier, although this one wasn't too difficult either. Take a couple screws and it took longer to get the soldering iron warmed up. They've got to make a jumper cable is all you got to do, right? So that's all this one's had done too. It's, it's just had the 11 meter conversion and she's stopped out of the box. 
Roger, Roger. Uh, well, did you hear my conversation with uh, 148 in Jamaica? Uh, not really, no. I was scanning around the dial there, and I just sort of come on the tail end of your conversation there, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I've got a YouTube channel. It's UDX-483. That's my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, as long as you don't mind, I'll put your audio out on my channel, QSL. Hell no, I don't mind, man. I'm curious to see what this thing sounds like on the other end, man. I ain't never heard of it. You give me one second here, man. I want to set up my voice recorder so that you can repeat that so that I can go find that. You give me that YouTube channel once again. Roger, roger. Same as my call. UDX-483. UDX-483. That's me. That's me. 483. I'll definitely look it up earlier because, like I said, I've never heard this thing on the other end. I've heard my other radio, which it worked good too, that little any tone, but I've never actually heard this particular radio on the other end. So I'm really curious to see what that sounds like there, Roger. Roger, Roger. It might be a little while. I've got a few other ones that I need to get up to, but uh, I'll put you up tonight. I'll probably just do one from uh, from the weekend, and then I'll do this one with you with 148 and, and you, so uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to drop my antenna down because we got a storm front coming across us. Figured I'd uh, see if I could get anything before I did it, so hey, I did. <laughs> uh, are you on Cluster DX by chance? Negative, no. No, I'm not on any form of social media at all. This is as close as I get there, Roger. I hear you, I do. Well, I'm going to log in uh, Cluster DX anyway, so. Uh, if you ever do join, join it. Uh, it's just a uh, a uh, basically a logging platform. Uh, gives you it. It's rather it's it's like a digital log is all it is. You put uh, your information in and who you talk to. It's it's kind of neat. You get a chance to go out there and check it out. It's free. Uh, if you want to pay, you can get you know better service out of it, but I don't pay. I, I use the free one. <laughs> uh, free is always better. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, I'll definitely look you up later, man, on that there. I, like I said, I'm curious to see what this thing's going to sound like, man. You take care, and I appreciate you coming back, my friend. 73-750 in this Mobile, New Brunswick, Canada, and I'm waiting on your final Echo Charlie 750, I don't think I told you where I was other than South Carolina. I'm about 30 miles west of the east coast of South Carolina, just outside of Charleston. Operator on this end is Steve, Sierra Tango Echo, Victor Echo. Definitely a pleasure with all mine. I'm glad you reached out to me. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, like it. If you like it a lot, subscribe. But anyway, um... And if you're interested in, in seeing what the Cluster DX is about, I got a video about that too. Uh, it's not real detail, just a, a, a real quick rough over of what it is and what it's about. But anyway, UDX 483, Echo Charlie 750, pleasure was all mine, 73s, 51s, and a click, 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 my friend, until next time. All right, there, Stevie, take care, man. Like I said, operator can on this side, Kilo Echo November. Definitely been a pleasure on here too, man. We'll do it again, I'm sure. 750, New Brunswick, Canada, Mobile, we are QRT. Click, click, click.